Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing, crafting, and cosplaying videos here on my YouTube channel. There is a medieval fair that comes to a town near where we live and it's a huge free event and we love going every year and dressing up in costume. So this year we decided to do a uh, like a family dress up and uh, have a costume for Peyton as well and so today I'm going to show you or tell you how I made her dress. So I came up with the design and uh, my mom had some green velvet that she wasn't using and so she gave it to me to use for the dress and it turned out even better than I had expected and I am so pleased with how it turned out and so that's why I wanted to share it with you all in this video. Please forgive the noise outside. My neighbor is rototilling his yard today. So what can you do? I decided I wanted the dress to be kind of an overdress style outfit and since it is going to be over a basic onesie I wanted the skirt portion to be closed so that uh, the bottom of the onesie was not visible but the top would still kind of have a fake lace up portion so it looked um, kind of realistic and kind of corset like. So to start I grabbed a generic romper pattern and um, pulled out the six month size and traced it for a generic guideline and just uh, cut it off at about the waistline. And uh, Peyton is only three months old, but since the dress would not have any stretch to it, I figured it was a better idea to go larger rather than smaller because I started the dress several weeks in advance and um, I didn't want to get completely done and then find out that it wasn't going to fit her. The romper pattern was supposed to have the front cut on a fold and a seam up the back, but that's not how I wanted it, so instead I took the seam allowance out of the back pattern and cut the back piece on the fold, and then for the front I cut it out exactly as the pattern showed, and then I cut a line up the front and took an extra quarter of an inch off each side <clears throat> Excuse me, to allow room for the uh, lace-up portion. So at that point Peyton got fussy so my mom took over and cut the uh, pattern pieces out of the fabric for me for the outer and lining of the bodice. She sewed all the pieces together so that the bodice was completely lined. She also cut two rectangles from the velvet for the skirt and made sure that the nap was going the same direction for the front and the back. And then I took back over at that point and sewed the skirt pieces together along the side seams. And the top of the skirt was about two times larger than what the bottom of the bodice is so that there is plenty of room to gather it. I pinned the uh, bodice and the skirt right sides together first at the side seams and then in the front and back and then pinned once more in between all of those spots and then just gathered it as I sewed by pushing a little bit of the skirt fabric under the foot of the sewing machine as I went along because I don't like doing actual gathering that is a huge pain and so I just prefer to gather it up as I go and with the pins being there uh, it only allowed me to gather each section the appropriate amount so I didn't like gather a whole bunch and then have nothing left together when I got to the other side. I decided that since there was no exposed stitching up to that point I wanted to keep everything super classy and I hand sewed the hem. Uh, I would have loved to do a double fold hem but because the velvet was so thick I just surged along the bottom and then folded it up once. I did a pretty wide hem, I believe it was uh, 3 inches wide and I uh, just sewed a blind stitch on it with by hand and it looks so good you can't even see the stitches on the outside. I had originally planned on setting grommets on either side of the opening on the bodice to lace a ribbon through but I couldn't find my grommets because I had started reorganizing my sewing room like the week before I was making this dress uh, but I'm actually glad I didn't find them because the route I went instead turned out even better. I found some lace in my stash that had these loops on it and um, it is perfect for lacing through and I just hand sewed it to the lining on either side of the opening on the bodice. 
I am so proud of how the entire costume turned out. I was a little nervous since I was just kind of winging it. The only thing I had to go by was a generic romper pattern and I didn't even compare the measurements on it to Peyton's measurements. I've never actually measured her so I was really not sure how it was going to turn out but it turned out even better than I could have imagined and I am so happy and I can't wait to make more costumes for Peyton. Everyone who saw the costume at the fair loved it and thought Peyton just looked super adorable in it and I hope to have her wear it again. There's actually a cosplay shoot, photo shoot coming up and um, it's something that they do every year here in our area and we might go and dress up Peyton because uh, she can still fit the costume and I just think it'd be fun to have her wear it again and uh, yeah, it's just so cute. Ah, I can't get over how cute it is. Um, anyway, that is just about everything about the costume that I made for Peyton. Uh, if you have any questions, like if I missed covering anything, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And stick around because uh, I also made something for Jeremiah for the Medieval Fair. So I'll have a video on that soon as well. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see everyone again later. Bye.